Okay, hello everyone. We are in chapter four. Okay, chapter four is about descriptive statistic. It is using numbers on how we use numbers to describe a population. So sometimes we can use a chart to describe a population, but in this in this chapter, we are trying to use a statistical function as a method to describe our populations. Okay, before we can begin, you should know how to differentiate between parameter and statistic. Okay, parameter is about population. Okay, the population mean or the average of the population is indicated by the symbol mu. Whereas for statistic, if you are talking about sample, our, the mean of a sample should be indicated by x bar. Okay, population standard deviation is indicated by the logo sigma and sample standard deviation is just simply x. And for sample size, for the sample, the uh, sample size is indicated by small n and population Population sample is indicated by big cap, big capital N. Okay, so we start with measure of central tendency because we want to calculate uh, how the numbers is clustered around the population, meaning that the center of the distribution tends to be. So we want to know in this population the numbers tend to be centered in the middle in which position or dalam bahasa Melayu dalam normal population tu nombor nombor bertumpu dekat mana di tengah-tengah tu example ya yeah? you score in your exam or in your test you score let's say uh, 60 over 100 60% over 100 but you are not sure how well is your score if compared to other students. You tak tahu whether your score 60% tu is a good score or it is not a good score. So the best way is to compare your score with the average score of the class. So you but but anyhow in order to know what is the average score you have to calculate the mean. Okay. So the measure of central tendency will answer the question whether your score is a good score or is it it is is it a high score or is it, is it a low score? So three indicators to measure the center of the data is by using mean, median and mood. So mean is just, okay, I'll delete this again. I'll delete everything. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, before that, we want to know the total sale. Okay, we I have a sample here of customer and the corresponding figure of the sale. So there is customer A up to customer A8. So I want to know the sum of sale. How much is the sale? So the Excel function is just simply SUM sum and we just sum everything from this range. Enter and okay, so the sum of all sales is just five thousand plus. Okay. Okay, number observation. How many observation that I have in this sample? If you can recall back what we learned from the previous chapter. You should use the function count. Okay, count everything in this range. How many observations that we have? One hundred and seven. Okay, one hundred seventy-two is the last observation. So enter, and we know that total observation is thirty-four, and you can write it down. So sample size, the total number in our sample size is thirty-four. Okay, now we want to calculate the mean, the average sales in this sample. So Excel average function is equal to, can you recall? Average. 
So just select average and select the whole range in this column. So we get the average sales in this sample is 155.35 cents. Okay, median. What is actually median? Median is the middle number in an ordered data set. Middle number in an ordered data set. Nombor yang di tengah-tengah. So, equal to median So the middle number in this data set is 155. Nombor paling tengah eh. Kalau you susun in, in order daripada kecil sampai besar, you will find out that in the middle the number is 155. Okay, another indicator of central is mood. So Excel function is just equal to MODE. So 180, what does it mean by 180? So 180 is the most frequent number observed. The most frequent number observed from the sample or from our data set. So we know that in total there are one, uh, 180 is the, the most common numbers appear in our data set. Okay, that is what is smooth. So the those in the sh yellow shaded area is the indicator of central ten, uh, central. So we know that our mean is one five five, median is one five one five five, and our moon is one eight zero. So those three are the most common indicators of central tendency in a normal distribution data. Okay, next here, those in the green shadow area is the indicator of dispersion. So range, variance, and standard deviation will indicate how dispersed is our value from the mean. So range is simply the, the difference between max, maximum and minimum. So maximum... minus minimum so the range of this data should be 50 so 50 is the difference between the max minimum number and the minimum number in our data set okay variance is simply the distance of of our value overall overall number from the mean so you can actually calculate it manually but since we have excel here we can just straight away use the function of equal to var s variance for a sample not variance of a population but variance of a sample so easy just select everything like what we have done before for other function. So variance is 150.59. And the last indicator of dispersion of a normal distribution is standard deviation. Again, standard deviation is actually the square root of variance. Okay. So the formula should be STD deviation of sample select the whole range and that will give you the answer of 21.22.22 okay so 
in this tutorial, we have seen how to calculate average or mean, median, mode, range, variance, and standard deviation. So in the next video, we will look at how to calculate Z value. So that will that gonna be in the next tutorial. Okay, thank you.